With the ayahuasca experience behind me, the drink is right over here. And having taken the evening to recover, I got up early the next morning to make my way out to the Amazon rainforest. We just passed across the river from Manaus to Amazon, and it was pretty neat because we got to pass through the medians of the waters, which is like two bodies of water, one black, one brown, and they don't really mix or blend together. Now we're going to complete this leg of the trip. I think there's like three, three legs to this trip, which is about three hours long. was about a three hour trek by boat, by bus, no not by bus, by van, and now I'm here. I just checked in, just waiting to get the day started. We're gonna have lunch shortly. There's a little dog over here who just took off and left me, just like everyone else in my life. I think I'm gonna go and explore and check it out for a bit. the night in the jungle we're gonna do an overnight in the jungle but it just started pouring and I think we're just waiting for it to pass before we start on our hike hopefully I can stay as dry as possible jungle this evening because as you guys saw it was like raining really really hard I think we're gonna save that for tomorrow tonight we're going to go out on a boat and that a spider yep that's a spider we're going out onto the boat and I think we're gonna look for caimans so that'll be tonight's adventure that's a tree boa. eat something already you see the very right there in the stomach Good morning guys. This morning we were supposed to get up and we were going to do a sunrise tour of the area but it was raining really hard. It was decided that we wouldn't even really be able to see any sort of sunrise. I just went back into my room, went to my bed and laid down for a bit and just listened to the rain as it came down. It's so beautiful in the morning, it's around 7 o'clock. You can hear the different birds and the different noises of the jungle. It's quite soothing. We're gonna go on to our activity for the day, which is fishing. I'm not quite sure what we're going to be fishing for, but we're going to be fishing. I just found out it's piranhas we're fishing for. I've got my meat in the water. Hopefully it bites. I like that one, you guys. Wow. On our last spot, we were able to find... Oh my gosh, all these bugs are flying right into my eyes. Three piranhas. So we caught three piranhas. We've done good. The piranhas. We've never had it before. I'm gonna give it a try. It's actually pretty good. You guys know me, I don't wear hats at all, but it's quite hot. I like it. I just don't want to get burned anymore. Right now we're going to do a, I guess, a visit of the Amazon. got back from the recognizance tour. A lot of this is forest that's covered in water 
because it's in the rain season and because like the ice caps have melted from the Andes, you don't really see a lot of wild wildlife around here. Most of them are all already hidden inside or they're up on the trees. So for example, a lot of the snakes, the monkeys and the birds are up in the trees and then most of the other animals, so such as like the caimans, they're like further inland where they're laying their eggs. If you are going to be coming down to the Amazon, don't, don't expect to see a lot of animals. The rest of this evening, I think we're just gonna have dinner and then we're gonna go back. I on the boat later on. This morning we got up and tried to go see the sunrise but clearly you can't really see a sunrise during the wet or heavy rain season. You'll just see blue skies turn into gray skies and then that would be it. We got back to the lodge and I decided to go on a little canoe ride or kayak I should say. I've got my little safety vest on because you guys know safety first especially since I don't know how to swim. So let's go check it out. That was actually pretty fun. I would definitely recommend canoeing or kayaking through the Amazon. You do get wet quite a bit, like my shorts are drenched. Oh, this is quite a steep climb. Fun fact, this river is called Tupana, which means thunder. The shoreline, that's where it usually is. They say it's about seven meters wide, this river. When it's the wet season, I guess you can say, or heavy rain season, it flows all the way back here. And regularly, it's all the way over there, right where those trees are lined up. Cool, huh? So part of today's activity, we're trekking through the jungle. Have to be a bit cautious with what you touch, where you step. Some of the plants can be poisonous, and also where we step because we could be walking over snakes. If we get too close, they might come up and give us a little kiss. One of the things I want to do here in the Amazon is to jump into the Amazon River and I'm going to do that, take a quick swim. This is how dark the water is, it's like pure black, you can almost see your own reflection. Actually you can't see your own reflection, that's how dark it is. The water is really, really, really refreshing to swim into. It's not yucky, which is the assumption that I had that it was going to be yucky. Pretty nice. So tonight I get to spend the evening in the jungle. I'm going to stay overnight and sleep. I've got some friends with me. I've got a guide and two Brazilian friends. They're a couple. They're just staying for the dinner or just to eat and then they're going to head back and then the guide and I will stay out here for the night. You can actually get lost easily in the Amazon jungle. Like there's different paths and you think, oh no, which way do I go? You start screaming people's names and nobody can hear you. are just like, oh my gosh, I'm actually in the jungle and I can get lost and not survive. So we're just getting some fire started and then I think we'll be like the good old dinner with chicken and fish. So we just finished dinner. It was actually pretty cool. Food was actually really, really good. The group has just left them here with the guide. We are just cleaning up. It is really, really dark in here, but it's so peaceful and quiet. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Pretty cool, huh? It's morning now in the jungle. I think my biggest worry out of everything, even though there are jaguars in here, there are monkeys, there are all kinds of creatures, would have been the mosquitoes. I could hear mosquitoes flying all around my, my hammock, but no, it wasn't in the hammock. It was just flying around. We're going to pack up, get ourselves ready, and hike back to the lodge. I'm not sure what activities there are 
for the rest of the day. Today I leave to go back to Manaus to catch a flight back to Rio. We're visiting a local uh, locals here on the Amazon and they've got these food called burichi. It's a bit hard and there's like mostly seed but as you can see it's like very yellow which is like the fleshy eaty part. I'm gonna give it a try. Pretty easy to peel. I'm just like using one finger. But it nice taste. It's meaty. Not much flavor to it. In case you guys might be interested as to what my accommodations look like, it's very, very cozy. And then you've got the bathroom here. Luckily, I've got the view of, of the waterfront. This is like perfect. Couldn't ask for anything much better than this. One thing that I've noticed here in the Amazon is that it's humid. And with that, everything is wet. So my clothes, even though they're dry, they're still quite wet and damp. My clothes right now are very it's sticky, it's stuck on me, it's very moist. So if you're going to visit the Amazon, just keep that in mind that you're going to be feeling wet all the time. Even your dry clothes are, are going to feel wet. It's just part of the environment out here. As I depart the Amazon and make my way back to civilization, I head to my final destination and return back to where it all started, Rio de Janeiro. I got quite worried and I don't think the person made it. They were working on it for about 20 minutes.